Hi guys, what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to show you how to make your very own biosphere. What you're going to need to do this is you're going to need your own jar that's sealable, makes sure no air or water can get in or out. You're going to need a cup. You're going to need a responsible adult who's going to make sure that you don't come into any trouble near a water source and you're going to need that, a water source. Whether it's a pond, whether it's a stream or even the coastline. You need to be able to grab materials fresh from that environment to put into your wee jar. Thankfully I've got a pond just at the front of my garden. I'm going to go with that and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set up your very own biosphere. whole idea of this is you're going to be able to see life grow. You're going to be able to be distracted for a wee while and hopefully have a bit of fun while you're at it. Let's go outside. Boom! Now that we're outside, I've sped this footage up a wee bit just to kind of give you guys a quicker view of how things are happening. I'm using my cup to get different parts of the pond. I'm getting plants, I'm getting mud, I'm getting stones, anything at all that I think an animal might call a habitat and getting it inside the jar. Not too much of each thing, just a little bit of each bit. I've even put some frog spawn in there. Hopefully over the coming weeks I'll be able to post Facebook updates and see uh, how the frog spawn is developing. You'll see that the water I'm putting in does look quite murky, but over the coming hours, once this settles and everything's all dried off and indoors, everything will sink to the bottom, uh, and over the coming days is when you'll start to see life emerge. And that's it. That's as hard as it gets. Um, this is the jar. Once it's been taken inside, it's had a couple of hours to settle down and for the temperature to get up to room temperature. Uh, and you can start to see a lot more of the different things that I put in the jar. Um, you can see the frog spawn clearly, you can see some plant life, you can see it's still, still in the dirt, but again over the coming days that will settle down more and more. If you've got too much plant life in there and you can't see anything, don't be afraid to take the odd bit out and put it back where you found it, just so you can have a kind of better experience of seeing what's inside. This is one of my already established jars. Uh, this one's got quite a bit of life inside it. Uh, it's got quite a lot of snails. It's got a good bit of plant life, but it's uh, highly visible. You can see a lot that's going on inside it. The life inside this jar has been going since about October. And uh, in a second video, which I'll put up after this one, I'll talk you through a lot more of the different types of life that we've found inside. Already around the side you can see some wee black spots which are actually snails and I'll give you plenty of close up looks at those. And one of the stars of the show that you're going to get to see is George. Uh, George is one of the first things that we found, I'll explain a bit more about him in the next video. But this is him up the top enjoying a bit of lettuce. He's a big lad, but when we first got him, he was extremely small. He was tiny, but the size of a bit of rice. Uh, and interestingly enough, you can see a wee hole on the side of George there. That's uh, him having a breath. That's how snails breathe. They don't stay underwater forever. They come up to the surface and they use their wee snorkel there. And every so often they take a deep breath. So, hopefully you found that interesting. If you would like to make your own biosphere, there's a couple of things you can do to help maximise how much fun that you get out of them. When you want to view your biosphere, make sure to put your biosphere in a window ledge with direct sunlight behind. This will highlight all the creepy crawlies and plants from behind and you'll be able to see in a lot better detail. It's best not to leave them on a window ledge for too long as direct sunlight can heat the jar up quite a bit and the organisms inside won't appreciate that. Um, if anything inside your jar starts to look a little bit sickly or poorly, then don't be afraid to put whatever it was back in the habitat that you found it from. Also, if you do decide to make your own habitat, please, please share with us on Facebook. Send us a link, send us a video of anything that you might find. And if there's anything you don't know what it is, who knows, maybe we'll be able to figure out what it is together. Um, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed this and we'll maybe get some more videos to you in the future. Bye-bye.